Hello everyone, this is Larry from Croct. In this video, you will learn the difference between Bayesian and Frequentist analysis for your A-B tests. The Bayesian analysis estimates probabilities of variations, while Frequentist focuses on statistical significance. Let's start with Frequentist analysis, since it is the dominant statistical approach. Frequentist analysis measures valid results and provides you with data-based answers. Here's a quick run through the steps involved in a Frequentist A-B test. Define the control and treatment groups. Formulate the null and alternative hypotheses. Determine the confidence level. Set the test duration. Run the experiment for the predefined period. Finally, analyze the results. Suppose you run a pharmaceutical company conducting a test on new antibiotics. You chose some people and divided them into groups A and B. Group A will be tested with the new medicine, while Group B will get a placebo. The test duration is 15 days. Unlike Bayesian, you cannot pause the Frequentis test before the designated end period. Whatever symptoms Groups A and B experience before day 15 cannot be considered in your final result. Additionally, Frequentist analysis cannot estimate the probability of A being better than B or the potential loss of a wrong choice, limiting your exploration of out-of-the-box hypotheses. These limitations aren't attractive for A-B testing, so we champion the Bayesian approach. Bayesian analysis tests evidence to update our beliefs in a theory. Let's say you test a new call to action and notice a significant increase in conversions. That means the new CTA is superior, right? The Bayesian analysis treats everything as a variable. This allows us to estimate the probability of being the best and the potential and loss estimates as new data is processed. Because of that, you can stop your experiment as soon as these key PI indicate the winner variant. To declare a winner, we suggest you follow these criteria. Each variant received at least 1,000 visitors. Each variant has at least 25 conversions. The probability of being best is above the winning threshold. The potential loss is below the threshold of caring. The test is running for at least one week. Analyzing Bayesian tests is easy with Crooked, as our dashboards allow you to track all the necessary metrics in real time without sampling. If you want to give Bayesian analysis a try, create a free account at Crooked and start testing. Thank you for watching, and I see you next time.